hello what's up you to photographer Ronix with an actual in this tutorial i'll be showing you my simple steps to editing a photo in photoshop and if i told you love to learn how to edit a photo in photoshop this is a tutorial for you so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe so in this we're going to be learning how to retouch a photo in photoshop and how to color grade a raw file within photoshop with no steps skipped so in order to open the image into photoshop you're simply going to select the image right click and come to open with and select photoshop for my case i'm using photoshop 2024 and it's going to automatically open up the raw image in this case so with this i'll simply try to adjust the colors because on the vi the vibrancy in the blues right here i want the image to pop so i'll take the highlights down to get information in the sky i'll do the same for the whites then take the blacks down open up my shadow slightly i'll add some contrast to the image and you can see before and after for just doing those tiny adjustments and after doing that anything is going to be i'll just come to this select subject or the masking icon and i'll simply come and select my background in this case so Camera arrow is going to automatically select the background for me and isolate the subject. So for this case, I just want to work on the background so that those colors can be punchy and they can pop plus the water itself. So what I'll do, I'll come and first of all hide the overlay. By the way, I'm using one of the latest versions of Camera arrow. And if at all you don't have this, don't mind about that. You can always update later after watching this video. So for this, I'll just come and cool down the background because I want the water and the sky to have that nice and vibrant look. So I'll take the temperature down. You can see what that is going to contribute to the image. And it's going to cool down the overall image just like that. And after I've done that, the next thing is going to be playing around with the highlights slightly and the whites just like that so after i've done that i'll come back to the local adjustments right here and with that i'll just come and play around with the colors so in this i'll just come and play around with the hues or the saturation levels of this so hues when you're playing around with the hues you're changing a given color so if at all i change the blues you can see i'm either make moving the blues towards the aquas or i can make the blues move towards the purples so that is basically how the hue slider is going to be working for you. Then saturation is the intensity of a given color. You can increase on the intensity or reduce on the intensity of a given color. So to reset, just double click on the slider. Luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color. So after understanding that, we are just going to come and manipulate these colors. So I'll just come and slightly saturate my blues a little bit. And come to the hues. And I'll just take my hue my hues rather towards uh, the aquas just like that i think this is okay and the water looks great so i'm going in for that kind of teal look teal yeah like the orange and teal look so after i've done that i'll simply come the luminous and take my oranges down and also come and also darken the blue slightly so this is a before after before after for just the color grading process and just look how nice and amazing the image is looking in this case so after doing that just come right here and change these settings make sure you change the bit depth to 16 bit then also make sure you leave the resolution to 300 pixels per inch and sharpen for screen has been selected and amount set to standard hit ok now just come and open so your image is going to open into Photoshop for us to do the final adjustments like the skin retouching and the final adjustments on the image. So for this case, what we want to do, the very first thing is cropping the image because I feel like we just want cropping this image. So just come right here and simply select the crop tool. So whichever tool you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to be up here. So this is the crop tool. Then change the ratio to 4 by 5 or 8 by 10 and it's going to give us this kind of ratio so what i'll do i'll just come and 
kill the image by clicking and moving until when I feel like the horizon is a little bit in a straight line. So I think that is okay. So I'll just crop it in a little bit. I think this looks great and it looks okay. So I'll just hit enter to approve the crop settings. So this is the image and what we want to do in this case, we just want to work on the skin. So for this, we just want to do the skin retouching and we're going to be using a technique known as frequency separation. Frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that is going to uh, divide the colors and the textures so that we can refine both the colors and textures. So it is going to divide this image into the colors and the textures. So just come right here to the background line. If I told you want to download the image, I forgot to tell you, check the links to the description in this very video. So come to the background layer right here and press ctrl j to create two layers and we're just going to rename these layers to low frequency I'm just going to name that to low frequency and the up layer is going to be as you guessed it high frequency so in the low frequency layer usually we have the colors and in the high frequency layer we only want to remain with the texture so just come and hide the high frequency layer select the low frequency layer and simply come to filter come to blur and come down to gaussian blur Zoom into the image until when you can see the face quite well and see the details better. So left click on the radius and start taking up the radius slider up to a point whereby the details are just starting to disappear from uh, your image. So at around, yeah, I think 3.5 is okay. That is when I'm just starting to lose out on the details. So the lower the radius, the lo the or the further the image the lower the radius and the more closer the image the higher the radius you have to use and what you have to understand is when you move the radius down it means you're going to be having less details in the image the lower the radius and the higher the radius the more details are going to remain with so for being perfect just always move the radius slider and stop at the point where by the details in the images are just starting to disappear and just come and hit ok so just come and activate the high frequency layer and after activating it simply come to image and just come to apply image so when you come to apply image just come and select the low frequency layer and use the blend mode of add because we are dealing with 16-bit image the scale is 2 and offset 0 or pass at 100 percent result transparency and mask cannot check just come and turn on the invert option and hit ok change this layer blending mode right here from normal and change it all the way down to linear light put these two in a group by selecting both so you hold down the control or command button and select both layers and drag and put these layers into a group so open up this group by clicking on the drop down arrow select the low frequency layer right click under the brushes right here and simply select the mr brush tool so set up the mr brush tool first by using a hardness of zero Make sure a clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and, and every stroke is selected. Use a weight of 9, <coughs> sorry, load of 75, mix at 90 and the flow of 100%. Make sure sample orders is not turned on. So after doing that, just come and hide the high frequency layer. And with that done, you can now zoom into the image slightly to see the image at a close distance. And reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so what you want to do basically how to paint and mix the skin left click and hold down and start mixing uh, the skin tones just like that so you left click hold down and you drag the brush or bra drag the brush in a direction that you want to work on or perfect in that case so I'm just going to paint in those areas. Come to the lower part of the body end. Left click paint and mix colors just like that to create a nice and harmonious transition between the skin tones or a skin color. So you can see by just doing this we are having to edit the image. So you have to zoom in and if at all your brush is showing a plus icon make sure you press the caps lock key on the keyboard. So to zoom in we use Ctrl plus to zoom into the image so to work on the face I've zoomed in and I'm just going to mix the colors just like that you left click and hold down and mix one color and release and come and mix another color just like that 
so i'm just going to mix these areas so you have to work and mix on each and every area that has or contains skin tone so that you can perfect the results from your retouching process so what we are doing uh, we are basically cleaning up the skin in this case so increase on the size by using the bracket keys and i think we are almost done doing the skin work so right now we are done working on the skin so i'll just come and turn on that and zoom out so that you can see the areas we did not work on so this is the before after before after so for perfecting the results that we have just worked on you are simply going to come and select the high frequency layer and get the clone stamp tool and make sure we zoom all that in because you just want to remove the skin imperfections or the blemishes so with the clone stamp tool selected make sure the hardness is set to zero percent or pass in the flat hundred percent make sure align is selected and make sure sample is set to current layer so zoom into the image because we want to remove the pimples or blemishes from the model's face we do so in the size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and how to remove a blemish you hold down the option key or you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the blemish that doesn't have a blemish alternate then left click on a clean area near the blemish for mark it is option left click on a clean area and release the alternate button or the option key and click over the blemish to paint it away and replace it with clean skin so that is how simple the technique is going to be so take your time as you're cleaning up or removing these blemishes or skin imperfections from your images because blemish removal is going to contribute almost 70 percent to your overall edited images so take your time as you're trying to do this very step regarding your skin retouching process so as we are doing this Remember to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel. So this is what we have been able to achieve. Zoom out and look for an area that still has blemishes and remove those skin imperfections or blemishes from your images. So I'm just going to remove those tiny skin imperfections. Command minus to zoom out and look at our image. So this is the image before, after, before, after for the retouching or skin work. So this is what we have. And right now we just want to work on evening out or creating even skin tones for the model skin. So in order to create even skin tones, you can see the legs are having a different skin color from the hand. So you're just going to come down here to adjustments and simply come to gradient map. So when you create a gradient map adjustment layer, just come and select this gradient icon under the layers right here and hide it. So let's click on the color right here and simply click on this tiny pointer right there and left click on the color option. Zoom into the image and look for a darkest color of the skin tone. So for this, I'm just going to use that as the darkest point of the skin tone. Click OK. Click on the brightest point and choose a brightest point of the skin so i'll use that hit ok and now click in the middle and type the location to 50 and click on the color option and choose a mid-tone or the mid-tone color that you want to represent the skin tone so i'll just use that hit ok and now hit ok activate the layer once again change it from normal and change it all the way down to color right there and select the white layer mask in this time around Press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect and come to the brushes right here and get the normal brush tool this time around. So with the brush tool selected, make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So just want to only paint on the skin. Make sure you have black and white. And if at all you don't have black and white, press D on the keyboard to reset it to the default. So with white as a foreground color, we are just going to paint on the skin of our model. So by using that, we're just going to paint so you're basically painting using we are painting using a white brush on the skin and you can see this is going to make the model skin look even and uniform in this case so just come and paint on every area that you feel should be having even or matching skin tones in this case so i'm just gonna paint just like that paint so it is all about painting 
So if at all you paint an area that you don't want, make sure you come back and switch to black and you can erase that effect from an area you didn't want to paint in the first place. So I'm just going to paint on the model's skin. So I have painted on each and every area. So take your time as you're doing this. So I've painted on most or majority of the areas of the model skin. So I'll zoom into the face slightly and paint on the areas. So I'm zooming in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to zoom into the image to paint better. So I'm doing a quick job because I don't want the tutorial to be a long one. So if at all I miss out some areas, I am just showing you the steps you have to do while editing an image or a photo within Photoshop. So this is what we have right now. So after painting, the next thing is going to be zooming out, looking at the image. And now you can see it has even skin tones, but the effect is too much. So it always come to the opacity. And reduce on the opacity of the effect. So this is the before, after, before, after. So I'll just come and create one more adjustment layer, which is the selective color adjustment layer. Come and simply intensify the blacks under the blacks right. I mean, you select blacks and slightly intensify the blacks to add that kind, that little bit of contrast to the image. And you can play around with these values just like that under the science of. Uh, the image so see what works best for you so i'm just going to move it towards the side and i feel like that is okay so right now we are just done editing this very image and you can see what we have been able to achieve so anything is going to be saving the image so it doesn't change in color when we post it on social media or when we print it out so just come right here to file export export as and it's going to open up the export as window. Make sure you change the format to JPEG. And make sure the quality is set to the maximum. That is 7 for my case. Make sure the sample is set to by cubic sharper. And make sure that you set this option to convert sRGB. Make sure these two are checked. And simply export the image to the, the location that you want. So this is how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.